weeks back, I went to the Global Lean Leadership Summit in St. Louis at Cambridge Manufacturing. Amazing event. Took four of my people with me. We had people from six countries there. We toured Cambridge Manufacturing, and their company was the uh, showcase for this event to show how they had implemented successfully lean, and it was incredible. And it brought tears to my eyes. I mean, I just work hard not to cry right now, but I walked around and I took these videos of these people, and I'm like, wow, this is incredible. It's extremely open-minded, and it's they're always pushing you forward to improve. The, there's no limits on the improvements. I don't know how much time it takes. I don't care if it takes time to make these improvements. No, you may it may set you behind during your day, like. But next week and next month, you're going to make up for it and then some. And I've seen that because when I first started doing lean, I was in training and we started with eight units a day and we went up to 10. And I'm like, that's just too much. Right. And I'm like, how, how am I supposed to do this? If you would just let me work and stop talking about all this lean stuff. But now that I've made a few improvements, I'm faster and now we're doing more units and I'm getting done faster. And and you've only been here for two months and you're getting all this, this already. My, this is my fifth week. Um, Your fifth, fifth week. week. Work. What, what, and I, how I, did you get it so quickly? What, you seem to really understand what this is all about. I, I've had, I worked, I've been introduced to Lean before, but it was introduced to me as a tool, not necessarily a philosophy or a, a way of philosophy. seeing it. Right, and uh, and I wasn't necessarily encouraged uh, to make changes where I was at before. And here, here they do. Here, very much so. Very so, much so. are you doing this to please the management because you're brown nosing them, or are you doing it because you believe in it? No, sir. It makes my job easier. It makes my job easier, and it's. What do you think of the leadership of this company? They're unique, and I. Why are they unique? They're unique in the sense of they care. They're humble enough to come out here and talk to me. I, I've never had that. I'll say that right now. They're humble enough to come and ask how I'm doing as a worker. Uh, At what level? Who would come out here and talk to you? Mark, our president. I, I see him twice a day, probably. It's, and he knows your name? Absolutely. Why he knew my name before I could remember his. Why would he even come out? Week. Are you kidding me? Out? I'm not kidding. He knew my name before. I couldn't remember his, his name for the first three days. He just introduced himself as Mark. Because he is Mark. He's not Mr. President. The level of humility in this place is amazing. It's across the board. It's enough to bring a man to tears. It brings me to tears, to be honest with you. And uh, I want to do good because they care. They're in, the, the environment here is just so encouraging and, and that's, I don't know how, how else I can put it. Is it just Mark that cares or is no, it everybody? Sir. No, it's everybody. It starts with a universal experience. Everybody, our, our staff cleans the bathroom alongside us. We clean the bathroom, they clean the bathroom. Alongside shirts the management. And, shirts and ties, yes. We'll get on the floor, scrub. Scrub and toilets. This is how we operate here. We're all we're on the same team. We're all on the same team. Mark, stand up. The soul of lean. That, that gave us that time. You don't, you because don't, that lean improvement that we did. This, this is me, every I day. I mean, it, it's not just we're just talking, we're living it. We used to weld this onto the blower house. Right. And if it was welded wrong or something like that, that was trash. Now this is screwed. So if this is formed wrong, take the screws out, we do it. To, to be honest, uh, that extra time we have at the end of the day, you're not as fatigued because at the end of the day, you, you sit down, he makes the little chart out he showed you over there at the end of the day. Nobody comes over and says, you should be working. You you owe me an extra hour left in the day. We're paying you for that. We sit down on that. Nobody come over, you know, we're paying you. None of that. Say, how about we try it this way? So, does it work for you? Go for it. But we got the okay from the top to do it. We don't have to get permission from our bosses unless it's a big dollar amount or it's going to really affect production. But if it's something that you can do, do it. We use a, a million dollar machine to punch the hole bigger. And this is the goal of the, the right, shaft over here. Right. This, 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 okay. I, you do like 100, 200 at a time. And now you use a dollar piece of wood and a piece of metal. 
take this, put it in there, put this over here, and you can do it in here as we need it. As you need it, just as in time, need. right here. As you need it. This hinge had to be, it was spot welded onto the lid, but then this side of the hinge had to be welded, MIG welded onto the can itself. It was very easy to get this thing spot welded on there crooked, then when you went to go close the lid, it was wrong. wouldn't close properly. So, Marvin, as he likes to call himself, was a pit bull on this, and just kept on our engineers and on our, our supervisors to make this easier. So now, everything is riveted together. This has to be turned one way for an up, up blast and the other way for a down blast. Well, if you accidentally spot welded those things wrong, you had to throw those lids away. Now, take the screws off, turn it around. Total flexibility. Absolutely. I, I'm a welder by trade, so I got rid of welding, and they said that's <laughs> normally unheard of. To get my, my guy said thought I was nuts. You know, I said, God, you going to get yourself out of a job getting rid of the welding. No, they, they, I looked at the overall deal, how that affects everybody. Uh, the guys over here, the guys down there, even our guys out in the field that install these. If they run into a problem, something's not formed right or whatever, instead of throwing away the whole deal, you throw away that piece is wrong and put a new piece so in. So you weren't thinking about yourself, you are thinking about the team? Every, everybody. It's a win-win situation all the way around. So what do you think's more valuable for you yeah, as a yeah. worker, to be a welder or to be a lean problem solver? A lean problem solver, uh, because once you eliminate the problems that bug you, and that's what we call things that bug you, like that did, it makes your life easier. But instead, of, say it took you 20 minutes to do something, and you just eliminated 10 minutes off of that, frees you up to, to do something else or train. I can do this job. I can do burner. I can do him uh, accessories, but you're versatile. Did you notice he never talked about money? It makes your life better. Why did Sakichi Toyota do what he did to improve the quality of life for his mother? Why am I so passionate about lean? Because it improves the quality of life for people. Jim Womack, thank you for starting this. You want it? Every person, everything.